So I was hitchhiking like yesterday, October, and I got invited by people in a, a feudal, original feudal residence. Well, this is not octagonal, it's got a strange form. Eh? And the people live at number 13. You know, Friday, the nerd, Friday the 13th, Templars. Next to a church, as they're always hiding next to churches, eh? And uh, this church here, it's not from 1854, but it was restored at 18, yeah, it says restore, restored, on l'honneur de, you know, in the honor of some sort of a Pope, Pope Pius the, the Ninth. And we've got this funny symbol in here. Oh. Oh, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. What is this? It looks like an M, but it's not an M. I have to look at like more closely in the computer. Eh? What is this? I don't like it at all. So, I think this is very old, this church. It says here, I'm watching over you. Oh, really? Horus, the all-seeing eye, or what? It's the same here on the house there. Whatever it is, I can't really see it from here. Is it a Marie or with a baby, or is it Isis with a baby with Horus, or what is it? Eh? And here, at the house here, You've got this, at the, like the same Apis symbol, just like the, um, the opening of the pyramid, right? The Apis. And there's another entrance. I'm going to show you here at the church. Here, yeah, look. It's a very small town here. And uh, not very far from Switzerland. Yeah, look here. This is this church. Now, look at this. You see the Templar V here. Oh, in blue for the war. Well, look at that. What has that got to do on a church? It, it must be an original Templar's chapel. And look at this here, the square in red with, with the circle for the compass. In the middle is another little square, so it does say square and compass, and there are four of them, so this is the concept of three and four. And another V here, and there, again here. Definitely a, cha a Templar's chapel that has been, like, restored. Yeah. Magnificent area here. The forest. Pharaoh is there. Is it? Come on, that's fair, right? Oh, look at that. I want to have a look at that as well. They're always next to the castle, you know, like undermining the uh, the first world's or the first the the old world's order is there. They're always like hiding, you know, next to it, like here next to the church and. You know, like uh, infiltrating the king and all that. Okay, I'll show you more. Look, okay, here's one entrance here. Yeah, there are no coincidences, eh? Look at this here. Uh, there are no coincidences. Nice balcony. Uh, and let's go into the court. Now. Maybe this is the first house in this town here, that was ever built here. Look at the, you know, the old um, sides here of the... You know. So, here I'm getting into the court. There's an old barn here, I mean, Templars needed like horses. Uh, it looks really old from the outside. It is at least 
from, from the 1500s. Look, you got the Templars V again, just like the entrance of the pyramid. It's Apis. You can see only one. Maybe in time there were, it, you know, you could see like two of them. Uh, yeah. Here, I don't dare to go in here. What's this here? Well, I don't dare to go in here in the barn. Because look what it says here. Tubic tuberculosis, TBC. Oh. The agricultural ministry, veterinary services, the barn, infested, etable andemne, tuberculosis. Look at that. Here, and it says, oh, here it says, 1964. I'm not sure if I want to go in here, eh? uh, like without a mask and precautions. And it's big. Maybe it's just so, you know, people are not going to uh, investigate, you know, maybe there's something to hide. Eh? So I'll show you the inside. It looks not at all like this here like this ruin from the outside and um, so I, I was hitchhiking and I got invited eh? imagine I was going to some YouTube fans French finally who have invited me so this here is at, is middle age eh? it's old Look, let's go in here put on the lamp yeah <clears throat> This is the wine cellars here. Um, this is not that old, yet, you know, to squeeze the, uh, the, wi the wine out of the juice, out of the, uh, um, out of the grapes. This is the juice, eh? <laughs> yeah. Just like the electric stair, a chair in America, the juice, eh? Oh, look at this. What's that? 90. Well, it's not liters. Look at this. It's not liters. And they bought it. Where did they buy it? Look at this way. They purchased it. Look at that in Switzerland. Eh? Look at that. Borsari. Sar. Look at this. Sar. This. And Bor, it's Per. The house of the king. Well, look at this. And Ri is the sun. Borsari, a bloody pharaohs, eh? And Solicon, Zurich. Look at the Zurich files, people. And what is this here? Is that falcon? A falcon with the grapes or, yeah, grapes, yeah. Picking up the grapes. Horus eating the grapes. Horus drinking the wine. 1906. This is like a sun hieroglyph, you know, like something in the middle and... The Holy Grail in the middle, and on both sides there's one thing here. Oh, what do you know? The square. The, uh, oh yes, okay, there's the square. And to make it, you know, like real visible, there are four points on it. So there's no mistake about it. The, co the concept of four, so it says square. And here are three, three things where it's going to, which is the concept of three for the compass. So it means here, they, you know, here, look at the grapes, yeah? They're squeezing the people out because we're the base of the pyramid. We're all down there uh, at the base of the pyramid and they're squeezing us out. You see, you see the drops coming out here? Yeah. And it's going into the Holy Grail because that's them, the Holy Grail, the, where the, the blood of their descendants is in, eh? And as I told you, this is the concept of three, which is them. Yes, they're squeezing our blood out, you know, vaccination, corona, and all this. And it's all going to the concept of three for the bloodline. Right. See, eh? Hey? This is old, you know, old stuff, eh? Uh, yeah. The cave here. I'd say thousand years old. Look at the stairs and well, they've been renovating it. There's still charcoal here. And, uh, and I'm going to show you some more very interesting stuff here. 
Hey. Yeah, Roseanne, extra dimensional. Hey, my sister. Extra dimensional. You got it all right. Uh, the Knights Templars had three things. Castles for the lords and the older, elder, like, the, who became, like Freemasons. And they had the commanderies for the military and the horses. And they had the farms, you know, for the people to work, you know, the slaves. They were, they were multinationals, they still are. So I think this is a Templars, an original Templars farm. And there are many um, indications for... Hello, anybody there? All right. There's no coincidence, people. I, there's no coincidence. I, nice one. So, well, let's have a look at this here. Look, you'll be surprised there. Look, you can already see it from here. Uh, there's probably a lot more to see. Yeah, look at this. Like, this is feudal. Eh? Look at that. Look at this. What, what we've got here. Eh? What is this? Eh? Look at that. This is old. Eh? This is uh, very old. Look, this is a phoenix. This is a phoenix. And who rose out of the ashes? Who got burned on Friday the 13th? And who rose with the help of Switzerland? As we saw down here, Borsari Persari. And look at the two pillars, Yachin and Boaz. So there's no doubt, this is free, Yachin and Boaz is Freemasonry, and the Phoenix is Templar stuff, because they came out of the Knights Templars. And that's why, you know, the pillars are in front of the phoenix. The phoenix is behind. That's where they come from. There's probably a lot more to see because, but they have been renovating here, you know, like everywhere. So a lot of traces like have been, have disappeared, you see. Right. Absolutely the enemy within. This is a, a former Templars. Commandery, uh, commandery and uh, uh, a Templar's farm. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. I only see it all now, you know. When I came here yesterday, I, I had no idea what was I going to find here. Extra dimensional. Roseanne, you got a... Um, you know things, Roseanne. I mean, what you don't even know yet, it's inside. You have to discover it. Um, uh, you have the ability, Roseanne. I know it. But you don't know it yet. So I hear from the other side of the, uh, the phoenix. Uh, there's an incredible, you know, it's all going down now, it's, and apparently people in the village, they say that there is a tunnel going from here like miles and miles away. So I know for sure the Knights Templars were here because they always had these tunnels and the tunnel is probably uh, starting here. And also the fact that the, uh, but we yeah, are well the people uh, the people don't know what well, we don't know anymore where the tunnel is uh, this is kind of weird as well but anyway here the Germans were here as well during the war they occupied the house so that's also a sign that you know Knights Templars armies octagon they were probably hanging up people here uh. And uh, this is a secret passage, which also had the Freemasons. Uh, in every Freemason lodge, there's a secret room, a secret chamber. And this is probably, you know, you can completely seal it off here and close it and, and nobody will find it, you know, or very difficult. 
And it's not like because of the war, as people say now, no, 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 this is Knights Templar. So if there would have been a raid from the castle up there with the, you know, then, uh, you know, they could hide. And yeah, you can see, eh? and this is going further and further. I, I don't want to, you know, like stretch me back here and you know, go in here. And apparently there's not much to see anymore. But this is a secret chamber, as you can see. And, um, yeah, in here. So that's all indications for the fact that the Knights Templars were here. And it was the only house next to the, um, uh, to the castle. It was only like the chapel, Knights Templars, and this house, and the, uh, and the castle. So, uh, uh, very old. And I, I was hitchhiking, I got invited, can you imagine? I'll show you something else. Even this, you can seal this off, you know, and uh, you won't even f find this here. <clears throat> oh wow, what a beautiful flower. I've never seen something like this in my life, eh? It's like like a jungle, you know, like tropical or the Amazons. Wow. Okay, so now we go down here, underneath the uh, the stables or the uh, yeah. Um, I hope I don't catch like any TBC, which is still in the earth here, of course. Show you something very interesting. So we're underneath the the TB the tuberculosis thing there. Yeah. Underneath. So the sign like was up here. Oh, nice little desk. What does it say? This. Oh, this is the door here with the tuberculosis as well. Bloody hell, then, eh? And look at this old, old wine barrels here. You know, wine, aristocracy, the elite, you know, it's, it's all here, eh? In very big. I mean,. How did they get it in here? You know, the door is too small. Maybe they built them just right here, you know. And oh, really big. Yeah. Sounds like it's full. Oh, maybe homie Ross is thirsty, eh? These wine barrels, it's like... You know, like the pirates being here, you know, like the, like these movies, like, you know, uh, at the docks. It looks like the docks. It reminds me of, of the docks. Yeah. And, you know, they were the first multinational, the Templars, the biggest mafia in the world, you know. And in a Templar's farm, you know, they, they let the slaves work. And they were very, very badly treated. Very badly. Uh, you know, punished and killed and same thing as in the feudal times. The difference between the horizontal and the, um, and the vertical rule. Well, for us, the people, there's no difference. It's only a difference for them. But they all can be the king for, you know, part of the kingship in the, uh, in the republic. And that's all. Well, there's some more to see, but um, it, it's, it's, it's a labyrinth here. This is a labyrinth, really. it's amazing. So, uh, well, let's split. Let's go, I'll show you a Templar's commandery. And the lady is so, she's very interested in this. I had to discover a lot of things about the house, so she's, uh, she's gonna bring me to that Templar's commandery. And, um, you know, so she won't have another boring day. Some action with Homie Ross, historical action. Good, learning something about her own house. Look, 
there used to be another well of course and uh, that was the barn infected by infested by uh, uh, TBC no, I'm not gonna that's that's the I'm quite sure the former commandery or the farm old bicycle from from the 50s or something <laughs> look at this here Oh, look at this, some side bags on it. I just open this. Oh, never mind. Ideal. Shit. Yeah. It's big, right? Eh? It's quite big. Well. Perfect to hide, eh? So this is far, this is in the east of France, in mountainous regions, uh, far away from the kings. But anyway, they had a castle up the hill anyway. Okay, I'll show you some more. So where the pelican is, you know, there was the well, former well, and this was no doubt, you know, to, um, so have, to have the horses drink, the army. So this means it was not just a farm, I think, you know, just like the Romans did, you know, with the stones here. Well, I put all these stones in here so the water holds. And yeah, and then next to it here, you got this little house, you know. So this here for the horses, and a little bit too many, you know, maybe just to be a farm. Uh, there's another indication, that little house here next to it. Next, this was probably the front gate of it, yeah. Um, there's a little opening to shoot out. And we're talking at least 1500s, you know, look. Just like in a castle, eh? Is it, no, it's not a letterbox. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's not a bloody letterbox, eh? It's the same, you know, with this V-shaped form here, like here. Uh, just to go in with your bow and arrow and, you know, shoot the hell out of them, eh? Uh, just anybody knocking on the door here. Hmm. Yeah. And here, look. Hmm. What's that? Octagon. But that's that's not as old, but still octagon in the, in the sun in the middle. Yeah, it must have been on the roof somewhere. And here, some very old stairs going up here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now. Let's go inside here. Yeah? Old bench, old Templar sitting there. Huh? Hi, Swizzy. Yeah, the old, this is that's old stuff. Uh, hmm. Look at the old staircase. Look at this. It's like a bloody castle, eh? Templar's castle, like massive. And how old is it? At least I'm going to show you that. Yeah, look at the woodwork. And here, look there. Here it says, right there. Oh, where is it? Hmm. Yeah. Fifth. Oh, here. One, five, five, two. It's from 1552. But that's only the woodwork, not the house itself. What does it say here? Was that a Templar's cross or what is it? Oh, yeah. 
or octagonal in a coat of arms and it says ah Templars V and here it says uh, 11 like this 9-11 thing you know I'll find everywhere or it's, no it's just an X I'll probably have to look at it later and here a V Templars V and yeah, it's, it's a Templars cross at least this side here hmm. can't really make it out but to, to the left side it's it looks like a Templars cross here yeah. in a coat of arms so that's only the woodwork here the beams here the beams are from 1552 and they probably made this later so I think the whole, all this here is from, uh, it's a castle-like, eh? it's, um, it's from uh, the year 1000, when the pharaohs, you know, when the pharaohs started building their stuff. Eh? They all started building their stuff, eh? Now, let's have a look inside. Bang. Closed. Let's have a look inside. This is like a castle. Yeah. Yeah, let's go inside. Hello. Someone there. I hope not. <laughs> look, look at this. So we're inside here. Feudal, eh? and look at this here. This is feudal. I told you it's a castle inside, eh? The old Templar dudes, eh? Well, they renovated you know, like part of the inside here, but all this here, this is original. And I, my guess is this is thousand years old my guess it's older than the woodwork now look at this inside here but I tell you this has this is, has been done like uh, new now look at the coat of arms now now look at this but this is not old but the, the coat of arms probably is look look at the three Fleur de Lys and the three dots, the concept of three in a coat of arms. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. DJ, look, coat of arms, hey, look at this, DJ. Hey, your palsy, you probably know him. Three castles. I wonder the, um, if the castle on top, if it has three towers on it. And here's sort of an S. S. S, whatever it is, that's for Isis. The leaves, I wonder if it's Acacia, the Freemason leaves. Well, that means the leaves are there, you know, to indicate that it is a bloodline, the genealogy, like a tree of genealogy, you know. Uh, the house, a royal house. Yeah, okay. Uh. Okay. You know, imagine what all the places you get to when you're hitchhiking, eh? Hey, mate. All the places you get to, eh? No coincidences, eh? Mm. There's probably more to see there, you know, that, that's very old. Look, here's another Templars V. Yeah, opposite the, um, the fireplace here and look here this uh, cupboard here it says here in German now why does it say in German eh? oh. uh, yeah in German wer Gott und den Frieden liebt 
dem wird es wohl ergehen, triffs triffs in dieser Welt nicht ein, so wird's her nachgeschehen. Bei äh, Katharina Zwalen in 1851. So how are you Swiss? Is who is this Katharina Zwalen? Because we're next to the Swiss border. Hey birdie birdie, look Katharina, Catherine, birdie birdie birdie. Yeah. So this means. Um, Who loves God and peace, uh, it will it will go okay with these persons. It will go you good. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work out in this world. You know, like uh, peace and love, peace and peace and God, the love of peace on God. Um, if if that you won't find it in this world then you will find it in the next one. All right. Oh, what do you know? Really? 1851. Oh. Oh, clever dudes in those days, eh? <laughs> But they didn't understand that, eh? Yeah, look, again, in the inside. Yeah, look at this here. What is this? It looks like an altar with an oval in it. Uh, and it says, yeah, look, It says here, yeah, one five, fifteen, hundred and, or is it, six, sixty, eight, or sixty, not sixty eight, yeah, fifteen hundred and. 68 oh. and here under the altar you know there are four circles four for the concept of four the square that's us so we are the ones being sacrificed on the altar and the circle for the compass it's everywhere people it's everywhere you dumb slaves Yeah, so you see a couple of uh, aristocrats here. I don't know what they're doing. No idea. Just trawling, eh? What 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 is it they got here? What what is a pink stuff in between? Pinkless killers. Yeah, inside again. I guess this staircase has been built for eternity. Right. Oh. So this is the attic. Yeah. At a later date, like in the 19th century, this is probably for the uh, the servants, you know, like housing here, uh, being locked up like here. Oh. Being locked up in here. Time this time, these days are coming back. Oh, what is this leading to? Hmm. Uh, wow, there's a lot more. Can you even see this yet? Doors and doors. Probably housing four servants here. Oh, it doesn't end, eh? It's not bloody end to it. It's going down again. No, yeah. Another fireplace here. Oh, look at this. A lot of ovals, eh? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. 
You see all the squares and circles, the square in red for the old world's order. And there's also three, four squares in it, in white like here, like here, four squares in it, in a circle. Oh, the whole thing is octagonal, octagon, look at that, looks like the crosshairs of a rifle, eh? Yeah, for the old world's order in red, and this is probably, this probably used to be blue. That's them. The concept of three, making a war on us, eh? killing us. Oh, it's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is the same thing I shown you in plastic. Remember that plastic cake form. In the middle is the concept of three, that's them, the compass. Then, we got the octagon. The police and the army, you know, defending the inner circle. That's why they call it the inner circle. You see it here by octagon. Everything, you know, that's why they got octagonal badges. And outside of the octagon, you got the people, even in, in four, you know, like the square, the base of the pyramid. So the inner circle has to be protected by the octagon. They're the cop killers killing us. They're only there to protect their wealth and our masters you know think of paypal a fine solid american company under the dj had been, has been sold to the dutch royals the house of orange and they have to be protected from us in the outside the square the base of the pyramid you know down there down the hierarchy oh people Imagine these days here, you know, work, 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 you know, being a servant. And this is coming back. This is what they want, eh? This is coming back. I'm here too. This is coming back. This is coming back. I don't know what this is leading to. I don't even want to know. It's even going upstairs. Oh, more servants. <coughs> wow, yeah. Oh, this is old, eh? <coughs> That's the top of the roof here. Yeah. So like a church here. Yeah. Hmm. Even here the servants were living, eh? Having the children work and all this. It's all coming back now, eh? They're gonna push us. Corona, like that's the enemy now. Supposedly. I don't know where this is going. Let's have a look then, shall we? Hmm. Let's have a look. Gosh, man. How many men are there? Absolutely not a nice mess. It's the most. What? What does it say here? What does it say here? 1839. Oh, Jachin and Boas. There we go again. What is this? Cannons or what is it? It's like crossed. Like skull and bones crossed. Some military stuff. You see the two columns, eh? Jachin and Mr. Jachin and Mr. Boas. Eh? It's incredible. Gosh, eh? Maybe probably later on they used it as a Freemason lodge or something. Closed. Oh, that's this top, yeah. Uh -oh. 
where all the the, the, uh, the bushes were. Uh, there you got the church and the water there. I kind of know where I know where I know where I am now. Snakey, snakey. Hmm. Hexagonal? No. Hexagonal. Lock up another few uh, servants in here. Hmm, where's this going to? Oh, hell. oh dear. Good thing I didn't step outside eh? in the dark, like. Good. Oh, there's room for another few servants and the and the kiddies, eh? Lock them all up. Say there is a corona. Lock them up, eh? What the hell is all that? Oh, the famous staircase. It's close. To yeah. oh, excuse me. That was the uh, the ghost doing it. I I didn't do it. I think I want to know the rest of the bookies here. Hmm. Uh, this actually looks older than down there. Look at the whole, the wood. The other wood from 1550, was it 51? It didn't look that old as this here. It looked very well preserved and all that, probably treated. Uh, but this is far, old, far much older here. But on the other hand, you know, they built things like first the first, the first uh, floor or two, and then later on, you know, they just moved up and built a little bit more on it. I saw that stuff down there as well. So maybe the, I, I have no clue, eh? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're going to bad shit. <laughs> What's that bad shit? I see that a lot in the commentaries and uh, the comments on the internet. Bad shit. Bad shit crazy. Why do they say it? It's not my type of uh, vocabulary. Mm, that's a bit bigger. <sighs> mm, do some waving. Mm, okay. Servant going to work. Or shall I go and sit next to the fire and like to be pretending I'm the Lord of the whole thing? Right? Well, 
well, if the lords are not there, the servant is just going to take a rest in front of the fire. Look at this. Oh, look at this here, some hieroglyph. Huh? You know that one, huh? Some hieroglyph. Well, let's go to the fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just uh, I have to put a new log in. Oh, I had one down there. Yeah. Let's put a new log in there. Look, here there are two inside actually. Yeah, there the are two parts here, but it's well, it's probably broken. But anyway, uh, uh, there is one here and inside here. So it is like in Egypt, you know, the, the, the double Templars V, the same one as that one there. So here as well, look here, there are two. There's one here, just as in the pyramid, and there's actually one here. The same Apis Templars V. And uh, this guy here, the neighbor, he just said that the, um, this was a house of the, of the masters, he said. De Maitre. So one of, it's probably it's the oldest house in, in the town here. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. You see on the other side it's also all mountains here. And you can see the, the castle here. There's the castle. Look at that. There are probably three towers, just like on the coat of arms. So I'm excited to hear tomorrow what he's gonna tell me. Yeah, look, as exactly as I told you. Uh, I don't think you can see it. I need some more light. Uh, maybe even more. Here, look. There. You see? Underneath there are vertical lines and the three circles. Uh, this is the old world order. And from history you start down and then you go up and then you got the horizontal lines for the new world order, the horizontal rule. And there are three uh, fleurs de lys in it, so it means that the same one still ruling. From the vertical rule to the horizontal rule. It's even in the coat of arms, people. You see that? It's just like everywhere, you see. That's exactly what I've been telling you. And you see, this is also why the, uh, the old world order, the vertical rule, is much longer, a much longer part of history. And for the new world order, the horizontal rule, there's just at the end, or at the top, there's a little part. Because that's since not very long time. At least if you don't consider like Switzerland since 1291. It's all in this crest here. Everything I've been telling you, it's all here. A longer time, you know, since like considering Europe, his, Europe's history, you know, the crest is going far more down, but it's, you know, there's a log in between eh, with the fire. So the vertical rule, the, the time of the vertical rule is much more extended than the, um, the last bit of the New World Order horizontal rule. And Switzerland was the first one in 1291, and then we got uh, the US in uh, 1776, the same year as the Illuminati were founded. And then uh, a couple of years later, in 1789, there was France. These, these were the first three countries. So that means the horizontal rule, it's not very long. And especially for the whole world, you can say it's like 1945, it's like the whole world, right? Uh, then all things, you know, it really changed, and we really are in the end times, eh? So this, this, the phoenix, we found at the, uh, in the house, and now we are here, uh, at the castle, on top of the hill.
Oh, it's private property. <coughs> Look, here's the same thing. <coughs> Shh! Okay, they didn't let us come in, so, th but anyway, this is the, the things I I'd like to see here. The coat of arms and all this. Um, the publicity sign, if you'd like, eh? And this is the same thing we found in the house, eh? Or I find, found in the house. This is a little bit like the Templars, the two triangle on the side. And of course lions, we never had any lions in Europe. There's funny dudes here on each side. Real funny dudes. I'll have to look at it later. This is why, you know, all these, these things where, you know, where you find some interesting information. I don't know what that dude is doing. And on top is another coat of arms or something. Okay. There's another dude there. Let's have a look. So this is uh, Le Chateau de Belvoir. That means have a good look. Okay, well have a good look then, eh? I'll have a good look. Wait, where did you get the lines from, eh? Never were any lines in, in Europe. Well, we're definitely gonna have a good look, eh? Sure. Okay, so that's the other thing here. I have no idea what that is. And there's another dude here. I don't know what he's doing. Ah. Now look, the dude is, uh, is it's, the position is like he's shitting on the people. Look at that. Our people down there, you know, they're, they're shitting on us anyway, you know. It would be magnificent up there, you know, to, to sit there and uh, have your internet, read a book. Uh. <laughs> so the house should be here somewhere. It would be more likely to see that, like on the screen. Maybe that's the church or uh, I don't know. Somewhere over there. Mm. So here's the flag from the other side here. Same as in the house. Phoenix. Well, oh, the wind doesn't work now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that means don't come in here. Private property. Uh, every time I film, there's no wind, eh? It's in unbelievable. Mr. Murphy's laws. Huh. And another castle here. Pharaohs. There as well, sort of. And look, it has a sort of a Templar's cross here in the window. Ah. See? But we're going to have a look at the Templar's commandery. So you see people, here's an obelisk, the symbol of the pharaonic domination. I don't want to go inside here. Uh, there are some dogs here and well, they're not going to do anything, but maybe the people don't like it. Next to a castle. Well, how did they know, like in the Middle Ages, the existence of an obelisk? 
And this is what I've been telling you. The aristocracy, they come out of Pharaoh. And here you've got all these grails, you know, our blood is here. Uh, here as well, you've got Isis here. Isis. Yeah, we liberated you in 1945, you know. Well, they're all the same, you know. No, at all. So, Templars Cross, people. Uh, here, too. This is Hospitellers or Maltese Order. Um, here, as well. I don't know what it is. And so there's probably Old Templar stuff before, here as well. So this is a white cross like Switzerland on a red underground. Those who took all the wealth of the Knights Templars and I went to Switzerland. So, probably for water here. Here another one. And the tower here is octagonal in the colors of the uh, the Knights Templars, red and white. Yeah. Oh, it's quite a funny place here. It's probably uh, 19th century, but there's probably a. Uh, there used to be a real Templar's commandery, but it's not quite sure if it still can be seen. So apparently there was a factory, a wavery of wool. And I suppose the, uh, the owner or the owners were like uh, Freemasons, you know, so they love to have this on it and everything, you know. And, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. So this is interesting. In the middle here is an octagon. It's an octagon in the middle, see? With the square on the outside and the circle, the inner circle in the middle. And it's all surrounded by Vesica Pisces with the oval and Fleur de Lis. So that means, just as I filmed in that house, the inner circle is protected by the octagon, by octagon, and from the people who are the square, the outside, the concept of four. So the concept of three for the compass is being protected by octagon of the Knights Templars and all the military organizations and pharaohs, blue army, the police thugs, who only protect our masters and not us, and neither our children. Do they, huh? They protect the inner circle, yeah. Exactly the thing I filmed yesterday in that house. Uh, Route de Templier, the, the road of the Templars. I don't know what that is. So apparently here behind there, there is something to see. Uh. What shall we do with those slaves now? Those, those squares, hey? Uh, you know, well, it's a good thing we made it in the windows, these squares and circles. Just as in our coat of arms, you know, the three circles. So what shall we do with our slaves now? Marjorie, have you got an idea? Oh, well, 
maybe we find them a new enemy. Like the enemy of all peoples, the, the invisible enemy. Oh, oh, what a splendid idea. Maybe, yeah. Just like in the World Wars, there was also an invisible enemy. Don't you make that over? Yes, there. Yes, there. Uh, well, let's call the invisible enemy Corona. The crown. And we are the crown behind it. We are. As we know, the invisible enemy. Uh, they all think the enemy is like. Oh, how shall I put it? The Russians, the communists, the jaywalkers. They were fine for a moment. Eh? The enemy were the Napoleon, the English. They just set them up against each other with the crown behind it. Now we got the real invisible enemy. Well, Marjorie, we all, we all know it didn't work out with the with the terrorist attacks. The slaves they got no more stamina. They they don't want to do any more wars. What a oh dear, what a splendid idea you had. What a marvellous idea, like the corona, the crown enemy, invisible to the eye. If, it, if there weren't that South African pain in the, well, pain by the obelisk, so to say, right? Oh, Marjorie, what shall we do with this South African dear? Shall we invite him in our castle here? Yeah? Oh, what a splendid idea. We know where he's hitchhiking. Marjorie, oh, Richard, oh, what a splendid idea. Oh, my darling, you're so devilish. That's why I love you so much. You're so devilish and evil. Let's do some evil things in the bedroom, darling. Hey. I'm tired of doing these evil things with the, the slave children. Hey. You're far more better. Well, I mean, a change of food makes the appetite, doesn't it, Marjorie? Yes, darling. Let's hope the slaves won't, up, won't wake up too much you know, through that internet, or that J-tube as they call it. Mm. Mm, yes, Richard. Marjorie, is the tea ready? Eh? Now go and have a look, Richard. What kind of tea do you want? I'd love the old Templar tea, darling. Okay. The rare tea with the blood colour. Okay. So what a splendid idea. Well, let's do this Corona invisible crown thing, eh? The invisible crown enemy. Okay. Well, so that's the, the enemy of all peoples and So at least uh, we all got them together for the next attack. Good night, darling. Yes, good night, Marjorie. Oh, what a beautiful world it is, darling. <laughs>